Right. Come on. Come on. There you go, girl. Whew. I tell you, I love starting the day feeding my alligators. I mean, they are absolutely incredible. Come on. There you go. There you go, Pepper. Come on, Salty. Come on. There you go. And they are getting big. I tell you what, it's kind of crazy to see how big they're getting. Come on. There you go, girl. Ah, oh, let go. All right. Come on, Pepper. We'll get salt over here. Come on, salt up here. There you go, girl. Come on. There you go. Woo! Come on, Pepper. Come on, Salty. Tell you what, these, these are amazing. And you remember when we actually moved this enclosure in? I mean, I tell you what. Come on, one more, girl. There you go, sweetheart. All right, we'll give one more Pepper over here. There we go. And when we moved this enclosure in, remember this place was completely empty, and this was like kind of the first enclosure that we wanted to have set, right? So it was crazy to think that, believe it or not, one year ago today is when we opened up at the Reptarium. Not when we moved this enclosure in, but one year ago today is when we actually opened up. How crazy is that? And look at how big these guys have gotten in that year. What amazing animals. Oh, and by the way, welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Two people on the side moving the braces to center them in the middle. We're gonna move back my way two inches towards the alligator tank, okay? No! Hopefully nobody dies. Three, two, one, up. <laughs> we'll see. Boy, now we're way out of whack. The amount of strokes I'm having. <laughs> There's no doubt that this year has affected all of us. I mean, there isn't a person on the planet that hasn't been affected in the last year. And, uh, you know, each of us in our own ways, right? You know, some good has come out of it. Uh, a lot of bad has come out of it, obviously. And you guys know that I personally suffered pretty heavily with anxiety, getting much better now, uh, working on it daily, you know. But there's no doubt that uh, it was a challenging year, you know. But, uh, but that light, I promise you, is at the end of the tunnel. And I certainly remember bringing in this enclosure right here of course ivy and aries enclosure and ivy what are you doing girl nope we're not feeding we're not feeding see initially she thought maybe she was going to get food so i gotta be careful whoop she's a little bit like the, into the food mode uh, now she knows there's no food and she submits she's a great animal but she just thought maybe i was coming in here to feed her girl you're okay sweetheart i love you so much and you're such a good girl and i had no idea about how amazing this enclosure is going to be for me and for ivy remember when she was first in here she was only about six foot and maybe 40 45 pounds now she's over 100 pounds and 11 foot and the kind of just behavior has been absolutely amazing and you guys know that she's my spirit animal I spend a lot of time with her. I love her to death. But I tell you what, this enclosure was quite the bear to get in and to get set up. Anaconda cage is in right here. We're just kind of working on shimming. We have a little bit of issue with it just lining up perfectly, but we're slowly working it out. I've got great people working on it, so uh, it's gonna work its way out, I'm sure. But uh, this is the centerpiece I've been talking about. It took a few weeks of a lot of hard work to get everything in here set up, fixtured out, seamed up, and ready to go. And we had a lot of help, and we appreciate each and every person that came out to help us out. But after a few weeks of busting our butt, we are finally ready to open the doors for the public. It was Friday the 13th, and it was ready to get the show started. People lined up and were coming from all over the country to join us for this grand opening of 2.0. What an absolutely amazing time. It was packed. It was crazy. It was wild. We had so much fun. Who could have known that this was the last time that we were going to have a giant gathering here at the Reptarium because this is the way we used to party. Now what's going on, Jay? Boom, this week on Can You Guess That Shed? Jay, oh no, another shed. Oh right, my right. gosh, yeah. I, is this so, Reptarium Shed? Reptarium Shed, and this week we're upping the antics. No more big pieces, like, oh. ready? All right, let's go. Well, this is impossible. <laughs> no, no it's not, I thought, you were the, I thought you were a professional. I am a reptile expert, but it's impossible. Let me think about it. Come on, Pops, you got it. I'm gonna say Tiger Lily. Oh my God! What? 
Are you serious? What? Was I right? What? what? <laughs> How did you do that? What? I don't know. I just I looked at the belly scutes. They remind oh me of Rainbow Oh my Bowl. god. I still got it. <laughs> and honestly, the Reptarium really has changed forever. I mean, I don't ever see a time where there's gonna be hundreds of people here at the Reptarium at the same time. Uh, and that's okay, because I think it's more intimate experience for people that we have, you know, 35 or 40 people per hour. That being said, the second week in September is gonna be our third year anniversary. Obviously, we had a bash on the first year. The second year, yeah, we weren't able to do anything. Well, hopefully, we'll be back to some sort of normalcy here by September, and I definitely wanna have a big gathering, and uh, I cannot wait to see all your faces and give you all hugs. Weirdly enough, this whole crazy event that we've been in the last year actually helped the reptile hobby as a whole. When it came to actually people buying animals, like this beautiful pastel leopard clown ball python, I mean, sales exploded. I mean, BHB had its best year ever. And all my friends that are doing reptile supplies or selling snakes have had banner years. Take a look at this pastel lesser clown ball python. I mean, again, it's been amazing. I mean, obviously people were home, so they wanted to spend more time with their animals, which is completely understandable. And of course they wanted to get new animals. This happens to be a spider super stripe and what an absolute ripper. And like I said, we were sending out animals like crazy, which was really cool because again, it made BHB have an absolutely incredible year. So again, I try to look at the positive that came out of the last year and try not to dwell too much on the negatives because I realize there are a ton of negatives. Don't get me wrong. Even something like this pastel ivory ball python. Every single snake that we produce seemed to sell almost as quick as we could get it on the site. And, uh, and we really are getting super low on inventory now. But the good news is it's egg season, which means baby season's right around the corner. What's going on? Okay, I gotta show you something crazy. Okay, what so are you last doing? night, Reptarium, Reptarium. we're open. Yeah. It's going great. Yeah. And I look over and this little girl is like hanging out by Taz's cage, you know, and then like she pulls something out of her pocket, puts it on the ground, come check it out. What? What was it? Oh, it's one like those cool stones. But it looks like a little dinosaur. Read the bottom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And loving memory of Tazzy. Oh my god. I mean I literally want to tear up. I mean. Oh my god, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. But there's more. There's more? So then, just this morning, me and Jay hanging out, standing by the gators. Uh huh. You gotta go find it yourself. There's another rock over here. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, here it is. What do we got? Juliana 2021. Thank you, Juliana. That was so thoughtful of you when it came to Tazzy. I mean, you know how much I'm still hurting about that. So thank you so much. And I hope that you had a great time at the Reptarium. Where'd she go? Oh, no. She's gone. Where's she? Lori? Amy? Lori, you downstairs? <laughs> Lori, down here? Gift shop. Gift shop. Her whole life is the gift shop. What? Yeah. Put that way over there. Lori? down here. Oh my Jesus. Where's Lori? Did you just walk in the bathroom? Are you in there, Lori? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, we've got so many new animals since we opened up the Reptarium. I remember getting Tiana just a few days before grand opening, and she was so crazy, remember? She hated people, and uh, now, of course, you can see she's absolutely docile, and she loves it. Uh, definitely cool to have a bunch of new additions. And certainly, some animals are a work in progress, like my guy Beetlejuice here, my Bell Space Lace Monitor. I mean, you can see he's curious. He's definitely coming around, but it's going to definitely take some more work before he becomes a real great animal ambassador. But hey, we're working on it. You know, potato's been a huge hit ever since we opened up Reptarium 1.0. And the fact is, is when we were able to reopen after being closed, it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about putting people in because of a business decision. It was about the camaraderie. It's about the fact that we wanted to share these animals with people. And it was such a bummer not to be able to. So certainly when we opened up, I'll be it to 10 people only. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it certainly was a bit different. That's our first 10? Uh, no, we got two more that we're got, waiting for. Two but... more we're waiting for yeah. and, uh, and then we're good to go. So, uh, wow. okay, good Here stuff.
Poop dog, I tell you what, Daisy is an absolute beauty, there's no doubt about it. And as things are starting to kind of open up here in Michigan and hopefully continue to get better and better, uh, albeit we're only able to have 40 people per hour, and it's amazing to have all those people. And to see your eyes all full of happiness is amazing, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I definitely yearn for the times where I can see those smiling faces again. Hey, guess what? You lied, Noah. <laughs> no, I didn't. She was hiding from me. No, you did. She was standing right there. Now where is she going to be? <laughs> She's in the clue room. Lori, why are you trying to run away from us? Oh, your hair looks pretty. What do you want? I wanted to, to uh, give you good and bad news. Which, Which one do you, you want, want first? The good news or the bad news? Do you want the good news or the bad news first? Can I say neither? Look at both of us. No, good or bad news? What? No, no, you gotta pick. pick good or bad. They're both gonna be bad. No, no sure. one's good. One's really good. Alright, give me that. Alright. <laughs> Jay took the sloth out and let someone hold it. What's the good? He got a hundred dollars! Oh, we got a hundred dollars. Cause the sloth experience is a hundred and fifty, so actually you owe me fifty. I told you. Damn it. <laughs> I told you. This didn't work out well. You guys may remember this was actually a snake massage room. So of course when we got shut down, this room kind of was empty. And even once we opened back up, we didn't feel comfortable with doing snake massages. So this room basically sent dormant, right? And then someone commented, said, hey, what do you think about turning this into a sloth room? So guess what? We ended up doing a lot of renovation in here. And before you knew it, this was a sloth room and we headed down to Florida to get this little monkey. And then of course, Drogo has become such a big part of our life here. I mean, he is so absolutely adorable. I I honestly never thought that I would ever own a sloth, and I didn't think Lori would ever allow me to own a sloth, to be honest with you, but now she loves him to death as much as anyone, and he is such a cutie. I tell you what, this little bugger is an awesome addition to the Reptarium, and uh, I tell you what, I couldn't be more happier with how absolutely amazing he is. And take a look at Aries just shedding like that. That's what's so amazing about this place to me is that I can see this type of stuff. I never thought years ago that I'd be sitting watching an anaconda shed in a huge enclosure with a water base like this it's absolutely incredible so thank you guys so much for joining me for the last year where we've been open here at the reptarium 2.0 it's been an amazing run been some ups and downs but we're gonna have great times ahead if you enjoyed this video and you want to see how we built this place here's a playlist of us building the reptarium you can watch one or two of those videos up here you can subscribe to my podcast channel on this side we are almost at three million hit that subscription button turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to somebody and i promise i'll see you tomorrow